Hi kids, welcome and thank you for watching this episode of Hatfield's Turn for God. Today we will learn that having a relationship with God, talking and listening to Him and seeking His will for our lives opens the door for His Holy Spirit's power to be activated in our lives, so powerfully that even others will see it. Good morning Aiden, how are you today? Hey Hannah, I'm doing okay. Only oh, okay? Actually, not even that great, eh? You know, I've been going through a really tough time in my life and I've been praying about it, but it just feels like whenever I pray, my prayers just keep hitting this glass ceiling. It feels like my prayers just have no power. I mean, do I even carry on praying? Should I just give up, you know? Yeah, sometimes it feels like that. Sometimes you keep praying and praying and it's like you just never get an answer to your prayer. But you know what? I have an experiment to show you this. Oh, I love experiments. So today we get to explode something. Ooh, okay. So this is gonna be really fun. But first, safety. Yeah, you're already ready. Yeah, no, All I'm right. ready. Safety so always. we're gonna add a little bit of water and we're gonna say that in prayer, water is like time. So please add a little bit of time. Okay. Okay, and I'm gonna mix it a bit. Do you think that's enough time? No, 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 no. When you're praying, you have to put in a lot of time. You can't just pray a once and time. expect uh, a little bit more. Okay. Okay, that's, that's better. probably enough time. <laughs> All right. Then we're going to add some color in so that you can see what we're doing. I love doing that. That's Ooh. so awesome. All right. Nice. Nice and dark. Nice dark color. Then we're going to add a little bit of bicarb. So. This is kind of like making sure that your prayers align with what God says. So no matter what happens, you need to be sure that you're actually praying what the Bible says and that you're not just praying what you want, but actually something that's going to bring glory to God. Okay, so right. let's add this in a little bit. Just one spoon. I think another one, yeah. Two spoons. Great. Okay. Okay, let's mix that. So you can see nothing's happening yet, right? Nope. And the reason nothing has happened yet is because we haven't added the last ingredients, and that is faith. Mm. Faith is like the catalyst, so it makes sure that your prayers actually work. You actually pray with faith. You trust that God is going to come through and give you an answer. So let's add some faith. Are we ready? Okay, ready? three, two, one. Oh, that oh, is so whoa, cool. look at that. Oh, my word. That is so awesome. Wow. I love the color. That's such a cool experiment. Oh, my goodness. You know, this entire experiment actually reminds me of a verse in the Bible, and I want to read it for us quickly. In James 5, verse 16, it says, The prayer of a righteous person has great power and produces wonderful results. And it's so true, right? We need to make sure that whatever we pray, that it is in line with what God says. And we are praying with a pure heart. Then we are righteous. And then there is power in your prayers. You know what? This kind of reminds me of a Bible story, though. It's a story of Hannah. Oh, yeah. I love that story. It's so cool, right? So Hannah was praying for a son for the longest time. She couldn't have any children. And it really, really made her sad. She wanted God to give her a child. And so the one day she was praying and praying and praying. And this priest comes to her and she's praying so much. She's even praying in her heart. So the Bible says her lips were moving, but no sound was coming out. So the priest looks at her and he's like, something's not okay here, right? And he thought she's drunk. And he says, how dare you, you know? How can you be drunk here? And she says to him, I'm not drunk. I'm just so sad and I'm praying, I'm crying out to God. I'm asking him to give me a son. And so the priest goes, you know, I pray that you're blessed and that you get what you pray for. And so she actually got a child. Wow. But you know, she took it one step further. She didn't stop there. She thanked God for what he gave her. She thanked him for answering her prayers and she dedicated that child to God. And that child was Samuel, and he was a great prophet. And you know what? God even gave her more children after that. And so that is how we know that prayer works. There was power in her prayer because it aligned with what God said. It was the right time. She had faith, and she was desperately communicating with God and crying out to Him. You know, that's a beautiful story of how faithful prayer can produce powerful results. 
You know, we spend so much time at school talking to our friends. We spend time talking to them on WhatsApp when we get home. And we spend a lot of time on social media checking out what they're doing. But why can't we take that same amount of time and also spend that praying to God, right? Because prayer is basically communicating with God. You're talking to Him. You're telling Him about your day, how everything's going, what you really need help with, and maybe even thanking Him for things. So I have a challenge for you. The next time you go on social media or you want to chill, take just five minutes and pray. Ask God, what is it that He wants you to do today? Who does He want you to smile and give a hug to when COVID eventually ends? <laughs> And, but you know what? There's one prayer that's really, really important. Can you take a guess? I think it's the salvation prayer. Yeah. Do you want to explain it to us? Yes. So, boys and girls, when we sin, we really need God's forgiveness. And Jesus came to earth in the form of a man, and he died on the cross for us, for our sins. And three days later, he rose from the dead, defeating sin and death. Mm -hmm. So, if we place our trust in Jesus then we can receive His forgiveness and we can become God's children and live with Him forever in heaven. And God sends us the Holy Spirit to help us live a righteous life while we are here on this earth. Isn't that amazing? But you have to take the step and put your faith in Jesus. It's a conscious decision that you need to take. You need to pray and you need to say, God, I believe that Jesus came to earth and died on the cross for my sins. That no matter what, He came for me and He loves me so much. And that he rose from the grave. He defeated death and sin. And then he sent the Holy Spirit so that we could be in constant communication with him. We can always talk to God because we have the Holy Spirit in us. How amazing is that? That's such a beautiful story. Do you mind if I pray for us? Please do. Heavenly God, thank you so much for sending your son Jesus to die on the cross for us. And thank you that because of that, as your children, we can pray prayers and know that those prayers are powerful when we pray them earnestly, God. And I pray that every boy and girl watching this, God, would take all of their requests to you and they would pray to you, Lord, and place their faith in you. We just want to pray this in your name, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. One last thing to remember. Remember that your prayers isn't about you. Your prayers is about God. So don't always ask, what can I have? What is for me? Ask God, what is it that you want, God? What can I do that will bring glory to you? Yeah. That is the best tip I can give you for this week. Have a fantastic week. All right. See Thanks so much soon. for the experiment. It was really cool. <laughs> awesome. Bye right. for now. Bye-bye. There's one prayer that God always answers the first time you pray it from your heart. When you ask him to come into your life, forgive your sins, and make you his child, he will always welcome you right away. Are you ready to pray that prayer with me right now? If your answer is yes, pray after me. Dear God, please forgive me for the wrong things I have said, thought, and done. Thank you for your forgiveness today. I give my life to you. I am now called a child of God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Download the craft from this episode from Hatfield's Children for God's Facebook page. Was this episode helpful for you? Remember to hit the like button and subscribe so that you don't miss any new episodes. See you next time. Bye.